Hey guys, what's up? Jason from JH Life here. Uh, guys, as a trainer, I'm often asked how to um, lose weight through nutrition and eating right and, uh, and and what the answers are and obviously what you should eat and, and how to go about it. But look, I'm just going to sort of freestyle here and talk. I haven't got any notes. I'm just going to have a chat to you guys for what it's worth. Hopefully I can help a couple of you. Uh, the first thing is when it comes to nutrition and, and someone losing weight or getting healthy. Let's, let's talk about getting healthy, not so much losing weight because obviously when you are, when you eat right, the byproduct of that is you're going to lose excess fat that your body has to lose. So I think firstly people have got to stop the focus of losing kilos, losing weight, but the focus should be just getting healthier and wanting to eat healthier um, so you feel better you operate better, you sleep better, and everything becomes better for yourself. And like I said, the byproduct from that is uh, you are going to lose weight. Um, so the first thing I talk to people about when I have clients, uh, thinking back in conversation, had is, it's a bit like a smoker. A smoker knows they shouldn't smoke. There's no need to tell someone you shouldn't smoke. They know they shouldn't. Regarding giving up, uh, they have to want to do it. And this is like nutrition. Someone really, truly has to get to the point where they realize that they're not so much that they're overweight, but that they're very unhealthy and they're sending themselves to an early grave. I uh, recently had a client like that. I asked these clients a question when it comes to weight loss and their goals. And I say to them is, between 1 and 10, how important is your goal? 1 being not important, 10 being the most important. You would think the obvious answer would be 10, but quite often people might say 7 or 6, and I'll ask why, and it's because they fail before, so they don't have a lot of belief in themselves. And this is a problem. Obviously, you've got to address that. And those people really aren't going to be successful until they're a 10, until they, they know they're a 10 and they're 100% going to follow the program, and then they get the best chance of success. Uh, until they become a 10, that's probably not going to happen. So this recent client that I asked that to, he was a 10 straight away. Uh, I've got him on the whole 30s. I'm just 23 today, and he's lost. But he knows he's not going to weigh himself. But let's face it, everybody's going to weigh themselves. So he told me the other, way, very the other day, very excited. In 22 days, he's lost 6 kilos. Now, that's a lot. This person's quite overweight, so the weight you have to lose is all relative um, to your body weight, obviously. So um, he's done very well. He's got eight days to go. This is not about the whole thing. This is about um, what it takes mentally to commit to doing this and eating right. First stage is, like I said, people have got to come to accept that they need to make a change or they're going to be, they're getting very unhealthy and they acknowledge that. That's the first step. Um, Nextly, next thing is you've got to understand it's going to be tough. Anyone who tells you it's easy to eat, um, very, very good, is lying to you. We all know how addictive sugar is. It's a known fact. If it wasn't addictive, it wouldn't be in foods that you eat. The reason these companies want sugar in the food is they know you're going to keep buying it. If these companies have made all the money out of it, had a true conscience, they wouldn't put sugar in it. But the problem is then you probably wouldn't buy it. Uh, so it's going to stay in the food. It's come back to us making a better choice and making a stand against it. And if enough people make a stand, trust me, that can create change. But until then, these companies don't need to worry about it. It reminds me of years ago when the tobacco story came out that the companies had to admit that they knew the dangers of tobacco um, and cigarettes. So this is what sugar is. And I believe my prediction in the future is the companies are going to do the same with sugar. They're going to have to admit that they knew for all the years that it is addictive. But for now, people are going to, well, the experts know it's addictive, but the companies who, people who are in these companies, they're not going to admit it. They don't want you to believe that you're addicted to their products. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the step we need to take. You need to take a fight back against these food, these foods that are, um, have the addictions and understand how food works. Uh, talking on the whole thing again, if you go through this program, you'll be educated and, about food with no breaks and, and, and uh, food that doesn't give you the message from your stomach to your brain that you're getting satisfied and it won't stop you from keeping you. So these are the foods that we need to avoid. Food without breaks. Food that doesn't tell you to stop. Uh, it's very, very important. But back to what I was saying about uh, starting the journey, you need to understand where you're at and you need to make the changes. You need a good uh, support base around you. You need to make your friends aware of what your goal is and having those uh, people around you, they're going to help motivate you. Uh, it's very hard to be wanting to make this change and still be around the same people who aren't going to help you. If you're going to socialise in the same way you used to, around people that eat the food you used to eat, you're going to be tempted. So you need to make changes in your life until you gain control. Uh, again, in the whole third, we talk about it, it, it feels a bit rude, but you almost become a bit antisocial during the 30 days because you need to not put yourself around, temp around temptation. 
If you like a common sense would say, if you were trying to tell a friend who, uh, who was trying to beat addiction to alcohol, you wouldn't tell them to be around a nightclub or a pub or anything like that with alcohol because it's going to tempt them. It is no different to food. A lot of us really know the answers, but we just we tend to ignore them. We really know what we should eat and shouldn't eat, so that's what I'm not really talking about now. You know what you shouldn't touch when it comes to chocolate, chips, and sugar, and donuts, and burgers. We all know the answers to that, but doing it is another step. So getting a good support base is very important. Understanding how difficult it's going to be, um, so you have a plan, is very important. If you're not going to do the whole 30, you make your own plan up, that's fine. Uh, I don't believe in cheat days, not as long as you're trying to beat your cravings and addictions. When you get control in your life, and I don't call them cheat days. You're not cheating, you're just relaxing for that day. So um, myself, I don't pick a day of the week that I'm going to eat bad. I just let it happen when it happens, one meal, and then back to normal. There is, you can have both with balance. Um, if I've got someone who hasn't got control, no, they can't have both. They need to get absolute control before they can be let back into the world of food that's going to be addicted to them and tempt them all the time. You have to get that control before you go back into that. Otherwise, it's probably a downward spiral and you've got to go back to what your old habits used to be. Uh, so again, accepting that you need to make this change, understanding how difficult it is, putting yourself around a good support place, uh, support people, having a plan is really important and you have to stick to all these things. It's very, very important that you do and you're accountable. Uh, and regarding the 30 days and the whole 30, yes, it's 30 days, but that's your initial 30 days. Uh, I've, I've known people that have done 90 days and, and longer. And really, at the end of it, it's about understanding how excited you are to go back to your old habits and if you're very excited you probably need longer on a program whatever your program is that you're doing it doesn't really matter as long as it's um has strict rules um and again i'm really a big believer in why you're trying to beat your addictions and cravings to these food whatever it is that you don't have cheat days it's just opening up that window that door for for allowing you to to fall back into old habits. So let's try and avoid the cheat days. And don't call them cheat days once you get control. You're not cheating. Uh, you're simply having a, a meal outside your normal plan. But cheating is probably a negative word, in my opinion. Um, yeah. So really, that's probably the main important points that I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, also, don't go on weight, like I talked about earlier. Stop weighing yourselves, guys. Go by your centimeters, go by your measurements, go by your clothes. Um, weight is irrelevant. Weight doesn't tell you everything about muscle, fluid, and fat. It doesn't tell you the whole picture. Uh, the old BMI index really probably isn't very accurate now, I don't believe, considering how many people have a lot more muscle on them now due to different sorts of training that we all do with CrossFit and uh, kettlebells and, and different things that everyone does. Um, so a lady particularly is going to hold a lot more muscle. So back in the day, if you were to put these ladies in now, they're probably considered quite overweight as far as scales go. But they're not. They look amazing. So let's forget about weighing ourselves. Let's go on how we look, how we feel, uh, the clothes that we fit into. And again, you remember, a bit of my motto is train right, eat right. Okay, they're the important things. Train right, eat right, sleep right. You have to sleep right, guys. A lot of people overlook the importance of sleep. If you are not getting an adequate sleep, it is very important. Sleep is the time we recover, we repair. All our hormones get in balance and, we, and our body's ready for the next day. If you don't give yourself that adequate amount of sleep, your body doesn't have time to do that reset. When we sleep, we grow, we recover, we repair, and we get ready for the next day. Uh, so please don't overlook the importance of sleep. Eating right and training right. Follow those three factors, plus like I said before, with the plan, being accountable, uh, is very, very important, not having the cheat days. Uh, but yeah, follow all these rules. I'm sure there's more, there are a few off the top of my head. Um, talking by myself without anyone interaction back. No notes in front of me, just really talking. I was just sitting there having my lunch and I think about topics that people ask me about. And I thought, uh, this is one thing to get out now. Often when it comes up, I'll just start having a chat about it. So look, I hope I've helped you. Uh, anyone who's trying to make this change, if you need any help, please send me a message and I'll try and help you. Uh, I've got my website. And if you watch, if, if this is six months time from now, my website will be up. Um, if this is current, you're watching it today on the uh, 13th of uh, December. Um, my website will be launched in about a week, jhlife.com.au. Uh, and on that site, I'm going to have a lot of education, motivation, uh, different programs. I offer online programming, uh, online Whole30 programs, and uh, a range of different programs. But I'm there to help, jhlife.com.
www.ebaycoaching.com.au. Stay tuned and uh, we'll be launched soon. Or like I said, if you're watching this video after I've recorded it in a few months' time, it's already up. Uh, so check it out, guys, and hopefully I can help you. Uh, I'm here to help. I genuinely love what I do. I love changing lives one by one and uh, making people live a longer, healthier, happier, more motivated life. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Give me a subscribe if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. Tell others about my channel uh, and just try and share the message of being healthier and living life to the fullest. Thank you very much. See you guys. Bye.